Hi there. This is Mr. Collie from St. Mary's. I'm here with Miss Thorpe. Say hello. Hi. Uh, we're here to show you a little bit about how to program the mini computer called the Microbit. The first thing we're going to do is get used to the website where you write your instructions, your code for the Microbit. This is it. I've opened it in Google Chrome web browser. You should open it whatever web browser you've got available in your school. It should use, it should work on pretty much anyone. And I've gone to Microbit. Spelled like that, but without the colon, dot org. Once I'm onto the Microbit website, there are lots of different sections up here. Now, if you can access it, you can access it from anywhere with a web connection. So if you get interested in this and think, I want to try this at home, you can do it there as well. And one of the best places to start is with ideas. If you scroll down, you can see there are lots of different ideas that people have made with Microbit, and there's loads of tutorials that you can use to take your learning further than you're going to get in your lessons. However, for your lesson to start with, we're going to be writing some simple code for the Microbit. So we need to click Let's Code. And then it gives you an option of what sort of code you want to write. For starters, we're going to use the JavaScript blocks editor and we're going to click Let's Code. That loads us up in a second, this window, and it creates us a new project. And on the left hand side you will see your virtual micro bit here. In the middle you will see the script panel where you can click to get lots of different code blocks that you can put together, a bit like Lego. And on the right, we've got our code window. You're going to drag your code from your script panel into your code window to create your instruction. But before we do that, the first thing to do is onto where it says Untitled down here, we are going to name our project. Now you should always give it a name that means something um, or relates to what your project is going to be about or what your program is going to do. So the first thing we're going to do is create a message on the micro bit. So I'm going to call my project message1. Once you've done that, move on to the next video and we're going to start writing some code.